let's um, go up to the North Bronx and um, the president of the uh, Bronx Council for Environmental Quality is Robert Fanuzzi. Mr. Fanuzzi, nice to have you with us. Um, you have expressed to me outside of the show um, great dissatisfaction uh, with this process. I mean, the, the transparency, I talked about redacted documents, the, the notion of Van Cortland Park, although it's off the table now, uh, you know, all of a sudden showed up. Um, talk to me about the transparency and your uh, concern about that. Gary, thank you. Um, your show and the um, press release that went out on Monday is probably the first time that many New Yorkers have heard about uh, Tier 4 um, and about this clean energy program. And that is a huge missing opportunity. Um, there have been some huge omissions here um, that our organization has communicated to NYSERDA in August. And um, a couple of people in this uh, show today were actually signatories to it and co-authors. And what we were asking them was exactly what you said before, which is before you make your final decision, ask the community where the best location for these facilities and converter stations are, so that then you might be able to inform your eventual awardee where to build things. Okay. Rather than have it the other way around, that the contractors say, this is what we want to do. And then you go, oh, that sounds like a good idea. And then all of a sudden, people in the Bronx in particular, many of the people who are here with us now say, hey, wait a minute, that doesn't work. Exactly. They really could have cut down and really made this an environmental justice process. So I'll say two things, Gary. One is that there's a, I hope it's not a tragic irony, but it is an irony that an environmental justice law designed to relieve disadvantaged communities from the harmful effects of pollutants, right, did not have an environmental process, environmental justice process. No community members were involved except for those who outcried when we saw what was going to happen at the museum in Van Cortland Park. There wasn't community input in decisions about siting, and therefore, NYSERDA will never know if they chose the right place, the right company to build in the right place because they never asked us where those good things is. The other thing is, as you noted, we are left out of the map. When you go to uh, Clean Path, the winning proposal, Clean Path, okay, when you go to their proposal, you go to page 19. And they bring it down to Westchester. They say, we're going to go down to Buchanan and to Austin. And then when they say, now we're going to hit New York City, basically, which is called Zone J, it is literally a redacted paragraph. Wow. So, so, the, we, so we still don't know. No. The, and we are the reason this thing exists. Okay. They properly noted, the law properly noted that downstate has much more renewable I'm sorry, downstate has much less renewable than upstate, right? So this new program is designed to bring us the renewables we need. But how could you not actually include and talk about where this stuff is going to happen in the zone it's required for and um, built for? Well, I'm, before, I'm just stunned. Yeah, I, I know that you, you've had it already with this. Um, you're up in the, in the North Bronx. You're on Community Board 8. Are you um, still concerned about Van Cortland Park? What do you think? Uh, I am what concerned about the whole Bronx and our organization, Bronx Council of Environmental Quality, sees this as more of the same to the Bronx. So we have to realize, as many people know, the Bronx is home to the water filtration plant. The Bronx is home to a, a national infrastructure of transportation. The Bronx is home to community board, in community board one, to the city's food infrastructure. Can we afford another industrial scale facility in our borough? I can't believe that we would not be consulted about the environmental justice and, impacts of an environmental justice policy. And I, and I um, think what, what you said um, really strikes me as, as um, at no, there's the section out there and it makes somebody think, you know, that's redacted. It makes somebody think that they redacted it because they don't want to be involved in a conversation like the one we're having. Gary, it's because they, they did not take this step of an environmental impact for the action. The action was tier four to build in right. the city. Nobody ever came to us and said, what does that look like in the city of New York? Now we're going to start. I have to say the Bronx Council of Environmental Quality lives for environmental impact statements because they provide because of this. 